All right, what's up guys? This is going to be an unscripted video, but I wanted to share some thoughts and share a little bit about kind of what I went through when I started the screen printing business. And to this day, I'm still going through with it, but I have learned to manage it and that's called anxiety. And it's something that I just wanted to share with you guys because if you're starting a screen printing business, there's a big chance that you do have anxiety because I saw the statistic that artists, musicians, entrepreneurs, 60% of them, are they, they have anxiety. That's a crazy number. And that's when I say, you know what? I want to talk about this because I learned about anxiety about five years ago. I didn't know about anxiety. Us Puerto Ricans, our parents don't want to, don't, don't look at, oh, you need to go to therapy. They won't say that. They, they real quick, your kid, they'll just, puetazo, you know? Tate quieto and keep it moving. And they didn't know about anxiety until five years ago. And I realized that I've been having anxiety since I was a child, since I was like maybe 10 years old. I could remember nervousness, you know, heart rate going up, scared. Jealousy was a big one in my teenage time. Was, I was so jealous because I was insecure. And that's part of anxiety and I didn't know that. I was working in Crasdale for 10 years. But in those 10 years, my anxiety just got worse and worse and worse. I, the moment I know that I have to go to work, there goes my heart rate. The moment I'm there, I was so down and that's when depression comes in because if you have anxiety, you have a good chance of then getting depression because it leads to depression. That's the main source of depression is because you're dealing with anxiety and I didn't know that. So when I left my job, the anxiety just kept, kept on, it even got worse because now I go, did I make a mistake? Did I leave the job and I'm starting a business that I don't know nothing about. I don't know nothing about I'm starting at home. And that was, wow, <laughs> that was scary. And it just got worse. And once I started learning about anxiety and reading about it and learning how to manage it, that made things, made things much, much better. A lot of you guys are dealing with anxiety. So I'm here to say that it's okay. You don't have no mental problems. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just part of life. And you have to learn how to manage it. And these are the things that I did to learn how to manage it. The first thing I, I started doing was, once I started the screen printing business, I didn't want to say no to no clients because I want to grow clients. I want clients to come. I didn't want to say no, even though I didn't know how to get it done. I try my best to get it done, you know, or pressure of, you know, could you do it in three days? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. And that just add so much anxiety. I just couldn't, I just put myself in that situation again. I felt myself feeling the same way when I was working in Crasdale and I learned how to say no to clients, to family, to friends. Say no is going to make you feel better. You, I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm pressuring myself to make it happen before that day. Don't do it. Even though you feel like you could do it, but you're working on your anxiety. So my advice is don't do it. It's just going to just gonna get worse. So saying no to clients, that was one of my first things I started doing. The other one was that when I started working, I was working at home. So all my personal problems at home, I was, it was I'm right there. Try to not to deal with personal problems while you're working. If you're working in a, if you have a home and you wanna put your thing in a garage, once you go down there and start printing, stay there. Stay there. Don't let the personal problems come down the shop and start talking about this one over here, this one did this, you gotta do this, you gotta fix that. That's just gonna give you anxiety, which it happened to me, it gave me anxiety. The other thing that I learned was 
to surround yourself with other business-minded people, people that are entrepreneurs, people are positive. Try to surround yourself with those people. That's the reason I got into doing the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel, one thing I, I wanted was to communicate because I communicate on, on, on Instagram and on Facebook with screen printers, but on the YouTube channel, wow, man. It's just so many people that just text, comment, call, and when you're working for yourself, you're alone. You're alone printing. So basically, you're not talking to nobody. You're mostly talking to yourself every day. So people calling and commenting and those are, that's, that's great. That's such a, that's a, a motivation. It just keeps, wants you to keep um, pushing yourself because now you're getting ideas from other people, other people are commenting, asking you for, you know, ideas or advice and other people giving you advice, it's full circle, which this is the thing I really, really love creating this channel because you guys are amazing. Surrounding yourself with positive people and it's going to help you in the business. It's going to help you manage that anxiety and keep going forward in the business. The other one is a mentor. Try to find a mentor, someone that motivate you, somebody that's gonna teach you um, accounting or the books or how to manage your finances because I'm, I, I am blessed with my mentor. My mentor happened to be my lady. She's been a great mentor. I have been so blessed with that. She taught me how to manage the business, how to finance, how to manage money, how to even, she stepped up my printing game. She don't know how to print, but she was the one, oh, the little details of that here, there's a little focus here, focus on that more, focus on the little blurriness of the print. She just said, no, no, that's not your best. And that's why I love her. Love you, baby, because she's been a big part of my life and I owe it all to her and she's a mentor. That's the way I see it. She's my lady and all that, but you can find a mentor that will do that to you. You'll be able to manage that anxiety even better. The other thing is meditating, meaning um, getting out, stepping away, going out from your personal problems and your business problems, stepping away to meditate. Even if you have to read a book, um, meditate on the Bible or on, on anything, on anything that keeps you focused, even driving, get in your car and drive somewhere for about 30 minutes. Believe it or not, when you're driving, you meditate. You meditate, you're focusing here, nothing is there. You're only focusing on the road and where you're heading. That's meditating. There's a lot of forms of meditation. But meditating and relaxing your mind is a great thing to do to help that anxiety. The other one, read this on a book about taking all your great moments that say you landed a great client. Those moments, you gotta take pictures or write about them, you know, and put them in your folder. Put them in your computer, put them in a folder, name, you know, to motivate yourself because when there are days that that's, this anxiety is just a little too hard to manage, go into your computer, open that folder, and look at all the good things you've been doing, all the great things you've been going through. You don't have to, you don't only, only have to put things of business, even personal things. All that is awesome for you to establish a folder where you could just, whenever, put it, you could even edit, put it all together, nice little music background and listen to it, you, you'll be surprised how well that works and controls your anxiety. And last, I will have to say is, the way they say um, work hard, play hard. Play hard. You have to play. You have to enjoy what you're doing. You have to love what you're doing and have fun with it. Fun with it. That's the other reason I joined and I created a YouTube channel because once you learn something new and you're enjoying it, 
Don't don't let it go. Because that helps, believe me. I do the YouTube channel, it's not stress. I enjoy it. I, I, I learned a lot. I learned how to edit, how to film, how to do this, being creative. Because we are creative people. If you're into screen printing or you're an entrepreneur, you're a person that you are very creative. So you need things like that. Always learning something new so you could keep being creative. And that's what I call play hard. Play hard means, yeah, enjoy, enjoy yourself. And I hope that this works for you. If you're dealing with anxiety that you really cannot control, it's really, really bad, I will seek professional help because it does work. It does work. So go do that. And um, the other thing is don't burn yourself out. Keep going forward and Thank you for listening to me. I just want to share this. And if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all. Be grateful and peace out.